Welcome back to the Have You Seen a Podcast YouTube channel. My name is Mason Knight. Sitting across me is Cash Krause. And this is our YouTube exclusive trailer reaction. So if you guys like what you see here, please be sure to like this video. Comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. So with that said, Cash, what are we reacting to today? Today, we are reacting to Stardust. Wow. Not the Robert De Niro Stardust movie. Of 2007. Yeah, which is With good. Michelle Pfeiffer. I like it a lot. Yeah. I think that film's underrated. <laughs> not the point. <laughs> not, the point <laughs> not the point at all. You know you get me distracted with that bullshit. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're acting to the 2020 British-Canadian biographical film, Stardust, yes. about, of course, Bowie. Yeah. David, I, I, Bo I, David Bowie himself. Artist, probably never heard of him. Uh, wasn't very influential. Oh, well, we've talked about it on multiple occasions when they were going to do, when are they going to do the uh, uh, David, David Bowie, Bowie biopic? biopic? And we, we, we now imagined all the possibilities, all all the right. many different things they could do, yep. and this is And this is, is not, what they're going to bring us. This was oh. not part of our plan. So. No, it would not have been our first. Uh, this is the David Bowie, the David Bowie uh, biopic starring a guy who looks nothing like David Bowie. Nothing at all. Uh, a film that has zero David Bowie music in it. Strange. None. The Strange choice. David Bowie's... Think that's <laughs> not an artistic choice? choice? No. <laughs> David Bowie's estate did not approve of the film. Oh. They said, you cannot use any music. Rough. So, what's this film going to be? What's the point? And, like, here's the thing. If you're going to make a biographical film about an artist, the first and foremost thing you must do after writing the script is send it off to, to the estate and be like, hey... Do you guys approve of this screenplay? Yeah. Can we use the music? We would like to make a, a movie based on, obviously, the life of David Bowie yeah. or whatever artist you're using. And and if they tell you no, then shit can the script, man. Unfortunately, if you can't yeah. use their music, then, like, what's the, what's well, the point? For musicians especially, yeah. There's yeah, sometimes the states are just assholes and they refuse to let any, anyone, any like, yeah. Christopher Tolkien is notorious for not wanting anyone to ever do any Tolkien anything. Right. <laughs> and he, so he really drug his feet on, and he doesn't even like the Lord of the Rings films. Yeah. So sometimes, Which I don't know how. But, but you're right. For a musician, you got to use his music. You do. You and David, to. And we've talked about it, but David Bowie... I think it's the perfect biopic to, to use those fantasy elements like Rocket Man did because mm -hmm. he was so strange and so weird and he was into like chaos magic and all this yep. really weird dark And doing shit. like a Rocket Man version of David Bowie yeah. would have been a phenomenal And his notoriously film. famous orgies and shit like that. You could, you could do all those kind of things. This does not look like it. It does not. No. It stars Johnny Flynn who does not look like anything like David Bowie. I can't get over it. He is a musician, though. Yeah, well, he won't be singing David Bowie. In no, he <laughs> won't be. He'll be singing, <laughs> be singing other shit because yeah. he won't be singing Bowie. Another I guess. another name that uh, popped out was uh, Mark Marone, too. Yeah, Mark Maron. Maron, whatever. Marone. <laughs> Marone, Mark Maron. I, I, his podcast, he's got a podcast called What the Fuck. Yeah, WTF, yeah, WTF. with Mark Maron. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, he's kind of hit and miss for me. Some people love him, some people... He's a real downer. He's real he depressed. definitely can be, yes. <laughs> like, nothing is good in that no. guy's life, even though he's very famous. He's very a, famous, very successful. He's in a, uh, he's in Glow on Netflix about uh, women wrestling, a TV series. Yes. And he's very good in that. He's yep. very good in that. But uh, let's watch it. Let's see. Stardust. Going to be disappointed. Let me set this up real quick. I, I am a big Bowie fan, so who knows? Here we go. Hello. Name? David Bowie. 12 singles, every one a total failure, except Space Oddity. The record company finds the album too weird for the X. I need to be known. I, I need them to know me. There's only one guy at Mercury who doesn't hate your new record with every bone in his body. David Bowie, I presume. Ron Oberman, Mercury Records. We got a couple weeks coming up. Chicago, Philadelphia, New York, and then out to L.A. I think we can make it work. All it takes is one believer to change the world. And we got two. Two? You believe in yourself, don't you? I think you're going to be the biggest star in America. This is a Queen family rock station, so keep it safe. Tell me about the new album. Well, what's it all about? It's about the years I spent dressing in women's clothes and getting laid. You want to know why it's not working? If anyone dares to ask you about your actual work, you just do the mystical mime act. There is no authentic me. It's just 
disappear. Well, then be someone else. Be someone else. I don't want to go mad. I want to take my fantasies on stage with me. Act like a star and they'll think you're a star. Don't stop until you have them on the floor groveling. You're not a space alien. You're from Bromley, man. Oh, yes, I am. Rock star or somebody impersonating a rock star? What's the difference? You know, it doesn't look bad. I like that they're dealing with how he invented, like, Ziggy Stardust and shit like mm. that. But it's going to be soul-crushing when every time there's a good scene, and you're like, here comes the big here music. Here comes the music. <laughs> and it's just he doesn't like, silent. <laughs> it's just nothing. cuts. Or he's yeah. doing a cover or something of a, of a different song. Of a different song, yeah. So I don't know how well it's going to work, you know? That, and that's going to suck if it's a really, really great film, and then but it ends up just not no working music. because of the music. Yeah, so... Yeah, I wonder how they're going to be able to navigate. Yeah, and it kind of sounds like he's doing a Freddie Mercury impression. Yeah, a little like bit Freddie Mercury does, yeah. at times, but uh, doesn't really look like Bowie either. That kind of bothers me. Yeah, it's, it's who strange. knows. That's a strange one. That we'll is. see though. I mean, they're kind of banking on the whole success of other bio biography. I picks, think so too. Yeah, you know, but this is one that you just you don't want to rush. I don't know if it was rushed. But well, they haven't done a rush one yet. Which would be a great. I meant you don't want to rush the. the, the I, well, I they're like all still alive. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are, they definitely. I think are. Most of them are still Neil yeah. Peart. Yeah, he. Well, yeah. He's, I think they're all still kicking. Yeah, not all of them. But those are guys that are like. Uh, yeah, no, not of course not. But those are. I don't think Rush. They, they never had like a crazy like, off. Uh, stage career. No, they're, they're like really cool enough. Canadian guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, and there are only three of them too. Yeah. So. <laughs> so I don't know how crazy their yeah. story is behind the scenes. Crazy. But uh, I love Rush. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Rush is great. We'll see. We'll see about Stardust. Yeah, we will. I Alrighty. Well, uh, that is our trailer reaction for Stardust. If you guys like what you've seen here, please be sure to like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. You can check out our podcast in audio format, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. We do movie reviews, TV recaps, movie news. Uh, be sure to check out our uh, link in the description below. You can go get some hot Have You Seen It merch. Uh, my name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause. And until next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you.